Hello friends, welcome back. Um, this is Sky McLean with you guys again to tell you how to use Shop Style Collective if you're new to it. So if you missed the welcome video, be sure to go back and watch that because it talks, give you, gives you a broad overview of everything you can do in Shop Style. And now I'm going to start getting into the details of each function that Shop Style has. So today we're going to start with search and lists. So ShopStyle has a very handy search function that lets you shop for products in their ShopStyle catalog. The most notable thing that you need to know is that not every product that is available to be linked by ShopStyle is available in their catalog. So you might find that you can go to a website and use this Link It tool, which I covered in the first video, to link something, but when you come here and search for it, you cannot find it in shop style. So that does happen sometimes. So if you're not seeing something come up that you're searching for, that could be the issue. I don't know why or what they choose to link and what they choose to not link. I'm not sure, but I will show you how to use the function today. So they give you these amazing filters over here that make it really easy to find um, groups of products that are exactly what you're looking for. So let's say we're gonna we're gonna work off booties. We're gonna work on booties today because booties are just fun. So here's what I want to do. I want to go in here and search certain retailers. So let's search Nordstrom. You can type that in. You can search Target. Type that in. So you see it adding it up here. And let's search um, DSW. All right, so it's going to search these three retailers. And then here we can go and choose the category of um, product that we want. So let's do shoes, boots, and that's all it's going to give us. Let's say you want to look for 10 awesome booties that are under $100. So you can go here and reduce the price range down to 100 bucks and it will give you everything between zero and a hundred dollars and here we go here's our awesome list so what you can do is based on what it pulls up for you here you can check out the product details so you can see it's available at Nordstrom here's the price here are all the colors it's available in and all of the sizes that they have and if it is sold out it will tell you right here that it's sold out so from here, you can copy the link if you want to share the link to these boots directly to your readers or in a blog post. You, or you can click on this heart and you can add it to a list. So I'm going to add it to the booty list. And that's it. It's added to that list. Then you can close out, scroll down, find another pair. These are cute. So here you see the product, product details once again. Or you can just click directly on add it to list and then click on the list you want to add it to and boom, it's done. So let's find a couple more pair. These are cute. Add those. And okay, fun. Sometimes it does pop back and forth like that. Add to list. Fun red boots. Okay, so that's how you can use, that's one way you, you can use the search function. The other way is if you're looking for something very specific, so let's go to Old Navy. And we can go to Women's Tees. Let's do this. If you want to search for something very specific, like this cute little ruffle tunic, what you can do is you can copy and paste. Let's clear all of our filters this into the search bar up here and then hit enter and boom there it is sometimes the photo will be different so keep an eye on that but you can click on product details and see right here that it's available at Old Navy and then if you wanted to add that to a list you could do that here um, you can also just type in ruffle shirt for women and it will pull up all the shirts that have ruffle and shirt and women in the description. So this can be a little broad. If you don't really know what you're looking for, it can get a little frustrating. Um, you can also type in black jeans for women. 
and it will pull up all of the black jeans that you can find. This, this is a great way to just search for um, a broad variety of things if you're looking in lots of different prices. Or if you don't really know what you're looking for and you just want to find something new to try. So this is a great way to do that. As you can see, I have my price filter turned off. So these go up into the thousands of dollars. Depending on your readership, that may work. So keep that in mind also. Now for the lists, this is one of the most functional things for me that ShopStyle has because it makes it very easy to organize all of the things that I want to um, share and I want to be able to find later. It makes it really easy to find things later. So you'll have a, um, a default list called things I like and anytime you click on add to list, it will automatically have that default selected. You can unselect it at any time and it won't add it to that list. Um, but that one will always be there. And then all of your other lists will be listed out right here. So here's the booties list and here's everything that we selected to add to the booties. So it's all on there. Um, you could do lists based on retailer, based on a color of shoe, based on um, a certain person wearing it. If you have different people on your team who are showing off clothes for you, you could do a list based on um, clothing type. So you could have a shoes list, a shirts list. You can have them based on brands. You can basically organize them any way you want, and you can have one item in multiple lists, and it makes it really easy to go back and find that item later when you're trying to find a link for it, because sometimes that can get a little frustrating. So... That is everything that you need to know about the search function and the list function. These are really handy and ShopStyle makes it pretty easy to find products in their catalog.